Living in and riding round Monaco inevitably makes any driver think about what might have been with regards to a career in Formula One. There are a few drivers in Formula One now and I uh, was racing against them in Formula 3 or Formula 4, so uh, of course sometimes you think about Formula 1. On the other side, uh, I think it's uh, really good to be in a competitive team and, and working with a very good uh, factory. And uh, at the end, the success is very, very important. And I think it's, for me, it's better to stay uh, in a very good competitive touring car team than uh, being with a not successful Formula One team. And having competed throughout Europe in touring cars, Vila is well placed to judge the merits of the respective championships. You see that uh, the potential of these English teams is a lot better uh, compared to what happened in, in France or Italy or Germany. And uh, they improved their cars uh, very, very good. And uh, now they are really strong. Everybody is really strong. So. Um, I think uh, it's definitely the, the best and, and uh, toughest championship. And as Vila indulges in a more gentle drive than normal, he knows it's still an uphill battle before that British championship can be claimed. Back in Buckingham, it's time for the team director to lend a helping hand to Bintcliffe's battle with the weight penalty imposed on the Audi A4s. He's obviously suffering um, a little bit of pressure from, from a number of areas, and we want to try and get uh, on top of that and uh, settle him down a bit and get him back up in the top six. John used to sort of dent his car and get points. He now just dents the car. I think John just finds it more difficult to set the car than Frank does because Frank's done all the development prior to this season, he knows the car a lot better, he knows how to squeeze the, the last sort of tenths out of the car, whereas John doesn't, so I don't think the gap's increasing, I think it will start to decrease now. And help is forthcoming from all of Audi's motorsport partners. We are testing new additive technologies, first the objective to make the car much faster on the track, but not only to be the fastest car, developing new technologies of engine oils, for example, if we find some horsepower or some more power, more top speed, um, with new additive technologies, we can use these um, new ideas and new benefits we have got, we've got um, to reduce fuel consumption in a car. Basically, the difference between this and any conventional car is the fact that the um, profile is asymmetric, that being that the inside shoulder is taller than the outside shoulder. It presents a, a smaller contact area in terms of straight line running, therefore anything that reduces the amount of contact area in straight line running will reduce rolling resistance, increase straight line speed. Um, any tyre behaves differently inside to outside, so there's no reason why both shoulders of the tyre should be uh, the same. Uh, it also helps in terms of um, tyre longevity. We try all the new parts with Frank, make sure they do work, and then I'll get them later on. You know, it's come a little bit late in the season, but at least it's come, so you know, we'll have to see. If they go well for Frank, well, then no doubt I will get them. But we have to really prove that they do definitely work. So how does the man who introduced Vincliffe to the British Touring Car Championship in this his rookie year feel he has acquitted himself in the series so far? He's in amongst uh, a cast of 10 or 20 guys who've been in this business a long time. They've done an awful lot of races between them. And John's learning curve has had to be very, very steep. But uh, he's, he's a terrific guy. He has a terrific um, presence. Um, He's very, very good on the corporate side. And we're committed to him, and we want to make him into part of the Audi family. But other families are doing their level best to keep Bentcliff out of the points. Hill at the end of July sees Bintcliffe back to his very best. On the short, twisty course, ideally suited to the four-wheel drive cars, 
He finishes second as Vila celebrates his first victory since the imposition of the weight penalty and Audi their first 1-2 since Thruxton in May. <laughs> And in the second Knockhill race, Audi drive home their advantage still further, with a second place for Biela and a fourth for Vintcliffe. The result of the hard-earned points is to bring the British Touring Car Championship Triple Crown into sight. With Vintcliffe rejuvenated, the talk now is of victory for Audi in the Manufacturers, Teams and Drivers' Championships, and the possibility of a third European Drivers' title for Biela. Just like the previous four months, the final third of the season will offer some enthralling entertainment. As the sun begins to set on the season, thoughts inevitably turn to future plans. Maybe the next year we will be a little bit more accepted and not be seen as the one that comes and wants to conquer all. We just want to come and show that we are competitive and that we have excellent cars and drivers. One of the things I think we're all trying to push for, as well as doing very well on winning this championship, is for next year, is to get our own test and development program in this country. because. The circuits are different in this country to say maybe in Germany or Italy. Now if the test team are doing their work in Germany, they're going to set the cars up to the environment where they are. And you know, some of our circuits are very much different, so I think that we need is to push to get a test team in this country. I'd like very much to stay with touring cars, it's, it's a good challenge. They're, they're very technically advanced compared to some, some other forms of racing that uh, I've been involved in. And, uh, it's certainly a, a series I'd like to stay in as long as possible. And I'm still uh, really uh, motivated and uh, it's a really good thing in England for me this year. And um, I can imagine that I do another year in England uh, if Audi is uh, going to do the uh, American Championship, which is possible if they have a good ch uh, championship over there. Uh, I might go there, but um, at the moment there's um, no decision taken and uh, taken yet, and uh, I think we discuss this uh, at the end of the year.